Welcome back, everybody, to the Detroit Lions franchise. About to head into Green Bay here in week number 11. Take them on for the second time this year. We shut them out in the first game. But when you go into Lambeau, you take a division team on the road, it is definitely going to be a tough, tough game. That is for sure. So it looks like we have a little scenario here as well. Trench boost. You know what? I don't think I've ever had this one before, which is saying something. You play this game long enough, you kind of get the same ones over and over. That's why sometimes decide to skip them but running game last week it was okay I mean Lamar Jackson broke off an 85 yard touchdown that helps us out but we have a chance here to get some more XP for our team if we uh have a good running game which we have struggled with this season and speaking of upgrades Traylon Burks he needed 150 a couple weeks ago he got over 150 he didn't get the scenario so I have decided to just give him the star dev I think that's more than fair I mean we got it it just didn't give it to us I'm guessing, uh, you know, you needed that touchdown. Even though it said it was a bonus, I'm guessing you still needed that touchdown to get the upgrade. But we'll give it to him anyway because we got the yards. As we head into Lambeau Field, taking on this Packers team who's rolling with Baker Mayfield. So, you know, I don't know about that. We shut them out early in the season. I, they still are looking for that quarterback going forward i think they wasted that first round pick a couple years ago going that quarterback and they're still looking for one as this team is uh struggling their defense is still solid but offensively they aren't very good we didn't shut them out for no apparent reason so let's get this one going we'll receive this ball first trying to continue the winning ways get the nine and one continue to uh, lead this nfc north division here comes lamar jackson Three rushing touchdowns last week. 12th through the air so far this season. He is putting up some MVP numbers. First and 10. We're going to pitch it forward to Traylon Burks. who gets some really nice blocks. Room to run. And Burks is going to be all the way up to the 44 into Green Bay territory just like that. We'll take that one. First and 10 now. From the 44, hand off to Swift. And Swift's going to break a tackle, get up to around the 35. So, yeah, the running game has been a bit of a struggle this season. But yeah, the running game has been just very inconsistent. I know Swift missed a few games early in the season, but just haven't have been able to get much of a rhythm as Preston Smith on third and one is going to make the stop. Man, you can see it there. The blocking just not the same as it is in the passing game. As we're going to go for it, over the middle, find George Dixon, has the grab first down. Yeah, the pass pro has just been much, much better. Obviously, you're still going to get... You know, a lot of sacks do, you know, it's mad and it's just going to happen. But it's been really consistent this year compared to the run game, which really hasn't. I mean, it's pretty much been Lamar or bust in most games. As that's a nice RPO, finding Adrian Olsen, grab first down, down to the five. And now second and goal. We're going to go from the gun. And Lamar looking over the middle. He's got it, trailing Burks. And that's going to be a touchdown here on the first drive of the game, which we're the best at in the NFL. We can take drives right down to start game, put it in the end zone, and give our defense a lead, help out that defense, which really doesn't need help to begin with, with the number one ranking in the NFL. As here comes Baker Mayfield in this Packers offense. 16 touchdowns, six picks on the season. Obviously, they have struggled a lot, and they didn't put up any points against us in the first meeting. So they're looking for... The first points against us at all is this Emmanuel Forsett rookie comes through. Makes a nice run stop there to start the game. Still can't see. Wait to see what his development's going to be. Second and ten. Baker looking, swings it out, and there's Forsett again. Nice hit in open space. Takes out the running back. They do not have Aaron Jones in this game. He is hurt. So they're down pretty much, I would say, their best offensive player, too. It's going up, and Kendrick Bourne with the grab on third and 13. I said it last time, our third down stops just haven't been there, especially on third and longs. And I would say Akuda has struggled a bit this season. He has uh, not had the season. He has won it, but on 39 this time, good pressure from Houston. Awarie is there, just goes incomplete, so at least we do get a stop. Second and nine. For our offense, and Lamar is going to be brought down by Roosevelt Tuck in the backfield. Not what you want to see at all. Third and 18, just really good coverage. Got to be careful here. Don't want to turn the ball over. Lamar looking. Has some room to run. He's going to stop. He's going to fire. And in reality, 
Probably should have ran that ball. Probably should have taken off. Probably would have had the first. But just trying to find your receiver. So we have to punt as we keep bringing the pressure on Baker. This time, Ali McNeil. Man, we're power overpowering this offensive line right now. We really are. Third and 13 here again. Let's get a stop on this third down. Man, Hutchinson. Oh, man. Just blows up the guard. Baker has to force it in there. Falls incomplete. And right now, I'm, I think you're just starting to see the quality as Lamar's going to go down again. There's Wyatt with the sack. Loss of 13. Well, I would say now both offensive lines are really struggling. Lamar stepping back on a third and long. Gets it to Jamison Williams, who takes the hit. Ball is loose. Green Bay recovers. Jair Alexander with the recovery. Did he just lose that? He didn't even really take that much of a hit. Just loses the ball. And now Green Bay with great field position. So second and six. Going empty. Looking. Oh, look out. This one's going to be picked off. Amani Awari has got it. I don't think anybody's going to be able to catch him. Foot race to the end zone. And he is gone. Pick six. Talk about coming up with a huge defensive play after the Green Bay Packers turned us over. Amani Awari pick six to the house. What is Baker doing here? I don't know what that is. Trying to force a throw that's just not there. But hey, we'll take it. We'll take advantage. 14-0 lead here. 20 seconds left in this first quarter. Second and five. Look at Hutchinson. Man, I mean, he doesn't make the stop. Bush help cleans it up. But man, <laughs> we're dominating them up front. Their guards are just getting annihilated. Even the t I mean, the whole offensive line, really. Third and nine. We're bringing heat again. And look, there's like four Lions there. Man. Bringing double. Double DB blitz. And they got nothing for it. Even as up front, you can see the collapse as Hutchison gets around. <laughs> there's, it's, I mean, it's, it's looking good here. It's looking kind of the same old, same old from last game as they just can't do anything against us. First and ten, DeAndre Swift going nowhere. And now second and ten. Lamar looking, firing. He's got Jamison Williams for the grab. Brought down, picks up 18 up to the 49, and that is going to hurt Green Bay's defense if Jair Alexander goes out for this game. That's not what you want to see. As we'll swing it out to Burks on an RPO, and Burks gets hit hard. Ball comes loose. Adrian Amos picks it up. Recovery. So right now, if our receivers can just hang on to the ball, we'd be doing even better. So now Burks, you can see, Held up just a little bit, and then uh, Devontae Campbell just comes over and absolutely lays him out. Ball loose. So another fumble recovery from Green Bay. They need something. They need some momentum turn here, and that's a really good run. Picking up 15 yards as Harrison up to the 49-yard line. They got to get something going offensively. Now going on five quarters where they haven't put up any points against us. First to 10. Another really good run. Close to a first down, and that's going to be just short at the 41-yard line. Big third down one here for Green Bay. They're going to hand the ball off, but oh, man, Manuel. Four set is there for the stop. Would not be surprised. Yeah, I thought they would go for it here. Yeah, I mean, you're down 14 nothing. You got to give it a shot here. They go back to the kind of the same play, run play, I believe it was. And this time, blocking works out and continues this drive for Green Bay. So up to the 38, seven minutes left here in this first half. Sets up a screen that's going absolutely nowhere. Third and 10. Mayfield from the gun. We're going to bring some heat. Pressure in his face. Forces a really early throw, but, you know, coverage was there. Goes in complete. And this is going to set up about a 55-yard field goal attempt. Trying to put up the first points against this defense the entire season. Kick is up. And it is good. So, it took the Green Bay Packers offense about five and a half quarters just to put up three against us. 14-3 the score. And now, let's see what this offense can do. See if we can put another touchdown on the board. One offense, one defense here so far. Second and two, handoff to Swift. Nice play up the middle. Good running room. That's a good start. First down up there. He's got six for 20. So, that's pretty much his best carry so far of the game. Hopefully we can just wear down this defense. Second and 13. Man, just wide open over the middle is George Dixon. He's got it first down. Still waiting, you know, 
Got to give him more opportunities, I think. I would love a, a really big game from George Dixon. I really would. You know, when you got Burks, you're trying to give him stuff. Tight ends. Obviously, Jamison Williams is going to get his. But maybe one of these games, we really have to target George Dixon and just see what he can do. First and ten. Randall with the carry. Not a whole lot there. And a third and seven. Lamar looking. Steps up. Fires underneath the Chandler Brooks. A little safe with that throw. Was hoping to be a little bit better than that. You know what? Was thinking about going for it, but didn't decide. You know what? Let's just take the three points. Kick is up. It is good. Put this back to a 14-point game. Just get some of that momentum back, even though we're dominating this game here so far. Two minutes left. What's Green Bay going to do here? Second and 13. Baker outside. Caught. McDougal is there for the stop. They're going to hurry it up. And a third and seven. They have all three of their timeouts. Baker looking in Houston around the edge. I don't think he even ran into that sack. He was just trying to get out of there. Sack, and that is going to bring us to halftime. We just didn't do anything with it. Just pretty much stayed on the ball. And that does it. 17-3 going into halftime. Solid lead. I mean, offensively, obviously only putting up 10 points. You know, even the you know game against New Orleans... That, that's one of the worst defenses in football. And our offense just sometimes doesn't convert. And with that inconsistent run game, we just haven't put up, been able to put up the points that I have expected this entire year. Well, last week putting up over 40, that's the first time we've had a 40-point game the entire season. We've really been in the 20s most of the time. And give Green Bay's defense some credit. They played well. Dolphins, we'll see here in the next few weeks. They have a... Uh, they have a tough receiving core, even though they're 3-8, but still. But, yeah, I would love more production offensively. That is for sure. So let's start this second half. Let this defense continue to go to work, but they'll find Kendrick Bourne. That's a really good start. Up to the 48-yard line into our territory, gain a 27. Good start for Green Bay. I mean, if they go down the, you know, down here and get a touchdown, it's just a one-possession game. That's what these games are. That's why we got to put these teams away early, these teams that are – you know, desperate, maybe season's just about over. So we got to do. First and 10. Oh, this one's picked off, but there's a late flag. Oh, no. They're going to take this one away. And we're going to just go out of bounds because I have a feeling. No, it's a holding call. Oh, no. So I thought for sure it was roughing the passer. I would have ran it back, but I thought, that's eh, roughing the passer. So that was a mistake, but... It doesn't matter. We're going to find Chandler Brooks just a few plays later for the touchdown. So, touchdown no matter what. It was a mistake at first. I understand. But, you know what? Lamar gets himself a passing touchdown. Chandler Brooks gets him a receiving touchdown. Works out. It works out. We still get the seven and put this up to a 24-3 lead. Amani Warrior, two picks, just having himself a game here. Second and seven over the middle, caught for the first down. Man, Baker Mayfield. It's what you get. It just makes mistakes, man. If he if he senses a bit of pressure, he just makes some really bad throws. Now, if you give him time, he can make some great throws. He really can. But if you get any slight pressure on him, the throw's under pressure, he's just no good. Over the middle, and that is a very good play by Akuda. Another pick for Baker. That one, I don't know why you're throwing it. Akuda has the under and the, the route, and you could see that all day. You're just forcing it into somewhere, and there's not anything there. Akuda there, great play, picks it off. And man, we're just, once again, just dominating this Packers team. We really are. I know uh, what Aaron Rodgers said he owned the Chicago Bears, and we're owning the Green Bay Packers right now. We really are. We uh, kind of flipped the switch. When Rodgers left, it's now been pretty much our division, and we're running through Green Bay. Swift with a good carry up to the 35, first down. Pretty much one more. I mean, this game's probably just about all over already, but I've got another score. You can forget about it. Jamison Williams for the grab. First down up to the 17-yard line. Another 
just almost perfect performance from Lamar. 17 to 20, couple of touchdowns. He's just been so good. Hand off to Randall on second and four. Breaks off a tackle. Gets a first down down to the five-yard line. He's ran a little bit better here in the second half. He might be a second-half running back. That's what I'm starting to see. Maybe Swift in the first half. And then tire them out a little bit. Bring in Randall. And just let him dominate the second half. That might be the plan going forward. Third and goal over the middle. Jamison Williams has it. Touchdown. 31-3 lead. Third touchdown pass of the game for Lamar. And, uh, yeah, we got a blowout here in Lambeau. I wasn't sure. You never know division games, even though we absolutely shut out this team last time. On the road, it's always tough. You just never know what you're going to get. But, man, we're just same old, same old. And, oh, man, are you kidding me? Amani Awarie, pick six. If I don't make the mistake and run out of bounds because I thought it was a rough in the passer call, he'd have three pick sixes. Three interceptions for him. Two pick sixes. He's going to be your defensive player of the week easily. It's 38-3. to And this is where I wish, wish they had the logic to take out Baker Mayfield. They used to have that. They used to have it actually in the NCAA games back in the day. If that quarterback underperformed, they would take him out. And now I just... They just don't do it. They need that logic back. They need to have stuff like that back. If a guy is throwing four picks and it's just awful and you're down 38-3, I mean, unless your name is Patrick Mahomes. I mean, even Patrick Mahomes would probably be taken out of the game. There's no reason to play him. Bring in a young quarterback, see what he can do. Um, I wish they had that in game. I wish they had that for games like this, like blowout games. Um regardless of how a guy's performing, you probably would take out starters, bring in some young guys just to give them some time playing. Uh, especially like us, like 30. I mean, if you're getting, if I was getting blow out 38 to three, I'd really hope the CPU team would, you know, do the same, take out guys. There's just no reason to risk injury. They need that logic back. And I really hope, you know, stuff like that gets brought, put in. I mean, I, Say what you want about Madden. I think this gameplay has really improved. As right now, it's just we're going to go on a little bit of a different rant here with this game pretty much over. But this coming up year, Madden, obviously we'll have another franchise. And I could just hope the gameplay improves. But I really hope a AI logic just improves so much. And behind the scenes with roster moves, you know, that's what they need big time because when you get in these later years and you see how some of these teams completely build their team it just doesn't make sense i i you know i could jump in there sometimes and help them out but it's tough sometimes and they that definitely needs a major improvement as that's going to be the ball game 21 to 24 lamar three touchdowns I mean, I don't see how he doesn't win the MVP if we just continue to play like this. There's just no way. Randall, 73 yards on the ground. So at least we got over 100 yards total rushing. So we'll see what the um, the trench boost scenario is with that, over 100 yards. Didn't really give us a goal. Just try to get as many rushing yards as you possibly can. So we'll see. Uh, Jamison Williams had a touchdown. And defensively, obviously. Hey, Emmanuel Forsett. Really made some really nice plays. But the pressure was there all day. And Amani Warrior with three picks. Touchdown. Absolute dominate performance here against Green Bay. So let's see what this gives us. Obviously it's XP. But I'm guessing it's based off rushing yards. So 100 to 149 gives us 2,500 XP for the entire offensive line. So that's really good. Yeah, defensive player of the week. That's easy. Saw that one coming all day. Three picks and two touchdowns. Yeah, not really getting much better than that. Uh, so that'll move us now to week 12. We're 9-1. and one. Got a two-game lead over Minnesota, who we'll see here in the next couple weeks as we take on this Miami Dolphins team. Offensively, you got Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddell, 
I mean, they're good offensively, defensively, whereas they might have an issue. We have a breakout chance, it looks like, in Week 12. So, uh, could get another upgrade. We will see. But that is going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support. We'll continue this Lions franchise here in the next couple of days. And uh, hopefully it'll be another victory for this Lions team. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.